back with Cindy Whitney. With Thrive, and uh, may the fourth be with you. Yes, and to you, <laughs> may I? Oh, well, wow. You know, what's so great about that? <laughs> wow, you got the whole thing down. You got lights, camera, action. Wow. Exactly. I didn't even set this up with you. <laughs> It's awesome because I just kind of mentioned it earlier this morning, and now here you are with that. With a lightsaber. Are you, are you a big Star Wars fan? Um, I used to be. I, it got a little overwhelming over yeah. time. I, yeah. I, I can't necessarily uh, keep track, but it's yes, hard there, to keep track of all the all the different characters. Yes. And then what time frame are we in? I know. know? Initially, I was a, a very big fan, but obviously, yeah. it's uh, done very well. Oh, I, I agree. Yes, it's, a, it's a, yes. <laughs> it was a good investment. <laughs> yeah. So For sure. you know, we're going to be talking about Thrive today, and yes. Thrive has really been talking each month about certain things that people can do to, you know, kind of reach out to neighbors and kind of just, yes. You know, mostly our, our message is really to be kind, but there's all kinds of different things that you can do to be kind to not only yourself but to others as well. Yes, and uh, you know, during code, we also looked at being resilient, mm -hmm. being positive. Uh, uh, being being connected as best you could right. under those circumstances. Right. So now it's worth saying, you know what? New beginnings, new mm -hmm. beginnings. Let's 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 you know start some things. Um, you know, embrace some things. Uh, reconnect with people. Uh, and and each month we give a sort of a theme. And this the month of May is learning. Right. So um, uh, I did my Discovering Laguna Woods show on the topic of learning because I I'm learning line dance. So that's something that. A lot of people, a lot, by the way, it's very crowded, so a lot of people are learning line dance. But also, Susan Heck came on, and she, she talks about, she's um, the host of the Friday Films Show, and she talks about these films so you can learn about right. these films before you watch them and enjoy them more. I, yeah. So there's lots of different ways, different dimensions of learning, and that's right. kind of what we're talking about. She does a great job because she has the backstory, and then she yes. goes, you know, she'll say, like, okay, when you watch this scene, I know. This is really kind of how that evolved, and you're, you know, it just really brings yes. a lot of interest to to the films that she's chosen, yeah. and she's done such a great job. You know, Cole and Mark work, work with her to get all these wonderful films, and yeah. it's been a very popular addition to our, our lineup. So yeah, even films that you've seen before, she gives you a new appreciation and understanding of them. I yeah. just, I, I love what she does. Yeah. Um, we've also uh, done some um, PSAs. Uh, Tom mm -hmm. Nash and I produced uh, three of them where we're um, asking people to think about perhaps a neighbor that they haven't seen in a while or a friend that they haven't seen in a while or heard from. Give them a call. Yeah. You know, you're not bothering them, mm -hmm. probably. Right. Try it. And we found that most people who you just give a call and say, you know, I haven't seen you in a while. Are you doing okay? Just want to check in. And yeah. people are so grateful for that. Yeah. And it might kind of renew a friendship once again. Like exactly. you said, I, you know, people are obviously still adjusting to getting out, you know, even yes. though COVID's been gone maybe a year now. But yes. it's still taking a lot of people a long time to kind of get accustomed to getting back to that normal and it's never really going to be normal again just different that's it but we need to encourage everyone to kind of get that's out it. and uh, be a part of the neighborhood yes. and, and, and reach out to friends and family more so. yes and we've been really active in another aspect of thrive and that's we've partnered a little bit with our memorial care right. friends they have a, a community outreach group mm -hmm. and so they contacted us and so we have had three well we're going on our third one now little get-togethers where we have an ice cream social, mm -hmm. um, a hot chocolate social when it was really cold, and we're going to be having a root beer social coming up in July. And it's fun because they have tables set up, and then they have these these little these activities. There's a, this is a little you know spin and speak that you if it lands on you, you have to answer a question like I'm crazy about or uh, I dislike very much, <laughs> right. different things, and it prompts these wonderful little conversations with people that don't know each other, yeah. and they have the best time. We have. Uh, uh, we had a bingo uh, card, and you and you couldn't get your ice cream <laughs> until you fi filled out one of the bingo <laughs> lines. Right. So that was kind of fun. Uh, we had a Jenga tower. Mm -hmm. We had you know Jenga battles where you know if, if someone pulled it out and then it was you know it stayed standing, everyone would cheer, and if it fell over, everyone would you know holler. It was so fun. These people do not want to leave these sessions right. that we have. It's so yeah. funny where you're having to like shoot them out the door. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a wonderful experience, and a, it's been a great partnership with Memorial Care and yeah. the Community Outreach Program because yeah. we've seen people, uh, they didn't even sign up. We asked them to RSVP, right? And they just walk in, they're like, hey, what's going on? 
<laughs> Next thing you know, they're at a table with six other people, and they now have friendships and conversations. And like you said, you know, we would tell them, okay, we're ending at 4 o'clock, and at 4.30, they're still sticking around and having they're a great time. They're still sticking around. And we always thought it was just for the, you know, the ice cream and the, and the other parts of it, but it's really about the social part of it. They love it. And it's great to see, you know, a couple of residents <clears throat> even said to us, like, you know, it just got me out of the house this afternoon, which yes. was a great opportunity for me to come out and enjoy a treat and meet some new people. Absolutely, and there's so much laughter coming out of that room and we're just having such a good time because right. there's just some crazy wacky things that people don't normally do. Right. And I think that's probably the fun of it. Yeah. Yes. And that's the great thing with Ronit and Jessica with Memorial Care. They're, they're just bringing out like these games. Yes. And they're either memory games or like, like you just said, you know, tell us something different about yourself that, you know, and then they share information yes. that they're comfortable with. Yes. And then you're like, wow, I did that too. And next thing you know, they have the same yes. uh, likes. Yes. And they brought an ice cream truck. I mean, right. old fashioned ice cream truck. They had the things that we used to have when we were yeah. way younger, you know, mm -hmm. and it, that was really, I was very impressed that with that. That was very popular. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah. Yes. Well, our social is going to be on July 12th and that's going to be, we always meet at Clubhouse 7 and we're going to have right. ourselves an ice cream float social yes. and we're encouraging people to uh, be a part of that too and we'll be sending out some more information and RSVP information as the date gets a little sooner and then they can reach out to us and then be a part of that. There That's going to be a fun time. Sugar-free options, too. There's there going to be a Diet Coke and a Diet Orange Soda, too. So right. you can have an orange float or a Coke float. Yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Thrive uh, Project has been going on, I think, for now 15 years with the, mm -hmm. our leadership of Dr. Beth Perrick yes. and a bunch of wonderful people that have come together and, and yes. helped continue it from year to year. And, and you've been along uh, for a few years a few now. few years, yep. Yeah. yeah, I know Beth and uh, Joan, Dr. Joan Milliman mm -hmm. uh, do research. Right. They, they research peer-reviewed articles and on you know wellness and positivity and so forth and they publish those so yeah. um, we have a, a lot of people working very hard in the Thrive Group. Right well thanks so much for sharing that information with us this morning and we'll probably come back in June and really yeah. push at July 12th event and it's yes. going to be a great time we yes. hope a, a lot of residents come out and join so us too. and, and uh, be careful with them. <laughs> That is our Th Thrive group, and uh, we have a great time. Be sure and join us in July. It's going to be on July 12th. Put it on your calendar, and we'll give you the RSV RSVP information a little bit later uh, in the weeks to come. Hey, join us uh, after this commercial break. We're going to have the old pros here on the set.